Welcome to Talking International. Students from everywhere are moving to Germany to do their Bachelor or Master at the University of Applied Science or in German Fachhochschule Kiel. We call them international students. My name is Malia Knecht and this is Karina Henhappel and today we want to talk to one of these international students, Sami Laray or Schönleke. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for being here. And thank you for having me. Can you maybe first introduce yourself to us and to the people who are watching? Um, my name is Damilare Oshunleke and I am from Nigeria. Um, I am a data analyst, a data scientist. Um, currently I'm running my master program in Fakhokshule Kiel in data science. Um, when I am not doing data stuff, I'm probably playing tennis and watching a movie or something. You were born in Nigeria, born and raised in Nigeria. Why yeah. you decided to do your master in Germany at this specific university? Um, so after my bachelor's, I worked for a couple of years, about four years. And then I realized that most of the people that I admired, um, my bosses at work, um, people in public life, uh, they all at some point studied abroad. Um, I think there's a way the experience of studying abroad shapes you and makes you a better person. Um, initially, I, I didn't plan to come to Germany because uh, coming from an English-speaking country, the UK and um, the US were natural choices, uh, but it was quite expensive. And along the line, I heard about Germany, about, um, I mean, it's almost um, free for even international students, which is very good. And the quality of education is also good. And after you decided where to go, um, how did you start? Like, can you describe this, the first steps you took a little bit? Um, so, because um, I am from outside the EU, of course I would require a student visa to study here. Um, so I applied to schools. Um, for many schools you would have to apply through UniAssist, same with Fakokshule um, Q. Uh, you submit your documents, uh, apply for the visa. Uh, it wasn't a really straightforward process, process uh, particularly for the visa, because there is a long waiting period. I had to wait quite a bit uh, before I got my visa. Uh, so I just waited and hoped, <laughs> and then I, I, I got an admission, and then I got my visa. And I packed my bags and came to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned the visa ap application process. Were there any other specific challenges you faced during the application process and your move? As I understand it, there is uh, like there's a lot more demand for student visas from my country than there are um, visas that the government wants to give out. So it's more or less, uh, as I understand it, uh, a lottery. So you you cannot predict whether you would get the visa or not, and um, consequently, there is also a very long waiting period. Um, currently, it's more than a year, so you would oh have to wow. yes. Um, in my time, I had to wait um, eight months. So, I mean, uh, at some point, I wasn't even sure I was going to get it. And um, I was also making alternative plans. But I'm glad that I eventually got it and that I am here. How do you cope with the distance to Nigeria, leaving your friends and family behind? Yeah. Oh, well, at the very start, it was quite tough. Uh, you sure. know, uh, being in a new place, being away from what is very familiar. Um, yeah, but thank God for technology. So that's videos, uh, calls, you know, and then at some point you also have to step into the environment where you are now and um, make new friends, uh, make new family, you know, and uh, I mean, there's a lot out there. Yes. Yeah. But coming back to your real family, uh, <laughs> what was the first reaction from your parents finding out you want to move to Germany? I remember my mom initially was like, like, oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> you know? Uh, but I, I, along the line, they figured, okay, he's quite serious about it. And um, is, if there's one thing my siblings know, they know that when I really want something, I would just do it regardless. Yeah. So, so, so at some, uh, eventually, they, I mean, they were happy for me. And um, yeah, we talk a lot now and about my experiences here. And yeah, they think it's cool. You said you built like a new family here with like yeah. new friendships and stuff. Absolutely. Um, the international office is one contact point to yeah. connect international students to find each other or meet each other. Yeah. What would you say? How do you met or meet new people? Do you have any tips? I would say a lot of the efforts in meeting new people and making friends were my own efforts. I, I don't really think that there was a really big role from the 
um, international office at the time that I came. I'm aware that now they have a lot of in, um, initiatives going on. Uh, there's an international club, which I also joined. It's oh. been cool. Uh, we've had a movie night, uh, a cultural night, um, a Christmas event, and it has been good. But at the time I came, uh, those things were not in place. Mm. So it was mostly f uh, from classmates. We would have lunch together every day because our classes run from for very long throughout the day, and then we... You must eat at some point. So <laughs> we go to the Mensa and eat together. From there, you meet people. Uh, my home country, Nigeria, also has um, an association mm -hmm. for students here. Uh, so again, I um, met people there at work. So, you know, it's just about um, putting yourself out there, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Would you say the language barrier makes it harder for you to make new friends? Um, absolutely. Um, not just because um, people don't speak English. Of course, many Germans speak English, especially the younger ones. But at least in my experience, uh, it it made it a little harder. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, but I don't think it, sh it shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be a big deal. Um, when you first came to Germany, what were your first impressions upon arriving in Germany and especially also at the Fachhochschule Kiel? Um, when I first came to Germany, uh, so I, I, I arrived through um, Frankfurt, and then I went to the train station and uh, I mean, I know people say tra uh, Frankfurt is quite rowdy and you know, <laughs> <laughs> you it, know, is. <laughs> yeah, know. it is, uh, well I, I quite agree, but I, I, was, I was really impressed with the infrastructure I would say. Uh, I know Germans really like to <laughs> talk Beyond bad time. about the, the train system and all <laughs> that, but the, I'm just really impressed because there is there are so many connections. Where I come from, you hardly ride on trains because there are just very few connections. So I thought it was really, really good. Um, I was also impressed with the orderliness. Uh, yeah, people take punctuality very seriously here. They do. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad. I, I think <laughs> I'm better at that now. <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, I, I found it really... Uh, it was a little different in that... Um, People are not as um, warm as they would be in, say, Nigeria, for instance. Um, at first um, meeting, you'd say, um, I think I mentioned to someone once, like, I, I heard an, an analogy that Germans are like coconut hard on the outside, soft <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> so you only need to break the outside and then you get the soft juice inside. So, <laughs> yeah, that has been my impression. Do you have any advice or tips for other students um, planning to do their studies in Germany? So I would say if you're very sure that you want to study in Germany, even if your program is not in German, if it is possible, do not be like me because I didn't learn a word of German before coming here. But I'm quite proud of myself. I think I've picked up quite a bit of German. Uh, a bit? Here. It's more than a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think more sure. <laughs> it came far. Okay, more than a bit. Um, I would also say that um, they should be a lot more confident because, um, I mean, this were, these were some of the things that I, I had to deal with when I first came here. I mean, if you gained an admission to a German university, trust me, you are smart and you must act like you are smart and put yourself out there. Um, also, don't just study, do stuff. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a big world out there, you know, if you're interested in volunteering, volunteer international club like we have it now in um, Fakokshila Kiel, join, if you like sports, join sport clubs. It just, um, it, you shouldn't just come to Germany, pass through Germany, Germany must pass through you. It makes your life richer, you know, get the full experience. Don't just, sure. uh, but of course you must read your books, you know, <laughs> <laughs> don't just party and party. <laughs> you Do must you read studies? your books. <laughs> you must study, yeah. And what are your aspirations after completing your master's degree here? Okay, so um, <laughs> so so this is one of the questions I usually like. I'm scared of, <laughs> yeah, but not it's not um, that serious. Um, I don't know like what the long long term future is. I I think three years before coming to Germany, I never imagined that I would be in Germany. Uh, but um, I know that immediately after my studies, I would um, work in data science, data analytics here in Germany. Uh, become even more fluent in German. <laughs> uh, beyond that, I'm not sure. It is possible that five years from now I want to return to Nigeria. I'm not sure, but in the medium, short term, next five years, I, I think that I would be in Germany. That's nice. I like it here. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you. you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for being with us today. I think your story is very inspiring and I liked it to hear and we wish you all the best for your future career. Thank you. Thank you for having <laughs> me. I think for this, sure. was, this was fun. <laughs> thank you.